What's up? My name is Doug, the Bearded Outdoorsman. Welcome to another video. If you enjoy beard product reviews, gear reviews, EDC videos, then you have come to the right place. Today is Final Thoughts for Copper Johns and Year of the Beard. This month has flown by, but we've had a lot of products to talk about, and we've done updates on every single product from Copper Johns thus far. So today, we're just going to give you an overview. It may be short, it may not be. I don't know, but we're going to go through all these products and tell you my final thoughts on these products and final thoughts on how they've done for my beard over the course of the entire month of May. So, without further ado, let's just jump right in. So we're going to start, let's just go ahead and start with the soap. So, oats and honey and dark forest. Now, I can tell you um, we didn't have a size on the soap, but I can tell you, I remember that from the update, but we can. I can tell you I've mixed and matched, okay? I've used them both about equal amounts of time, and I still have plenty of soap left. So that will tell you they do last a good while. Now my favorite, my favorite of the two is the oats and honey. The oats and honey is my favorite just because it's just a, a fresher scent. You get that oat, you get that honey, you get that, uh, what else was it? It was the oatmeal milk. It just smells really good, gives you a good clean scent. I really like that. That was my favorite of those two. But they do a really good job cleaning. You get that squeaky clean feel. Just great. I mean, you want to feel clean when you get out of the shower, right? All right, so next let's talk about our last update video. We talked about the Graybeard series, which we had Polly's and Skipper. This was a great oil. Now, I can tell you it did an amazing job for the last week in my beard. Just hands down, my beard was super soft. It was probably softer in the last week than it was during the rest of the month. It felt really good in beard. Now, the regular oils, I'm not taking anything away from these, but the combination, the carrier blend in this just made my beard a little bit softer than with these. Now, did these do a good job? Heck yeah, these did an amazing job. And I wondered why I always heard great things about Copper Johns. That's because they have amazing products. All right, so we've had butters, we've had regular oils, and we had the Graybeard series in oil. I can tell you with the butters, they were a thick, creamy butter that did a sure enough deep conditioning with my beard. I loved wearing these, especially at night. But I, I really like wearing them during the day. But at night, it was like hands down. I knew when I woke up, my beard was going to be soft and have no problems with it. It was amazing. Love, love this beard butter. It is just absolutely amazing. So the four scents that we had in our regular oils, balms, and butters were, or oils and butters were the Last Cast, Nightfall, which is a cologne scent, Angler's Code, and Mountain River. Now... I said it in one of the update videos that these are going to be super hard to rank just because they're so amazing. They're so, so good. I like all of them. And what I will even do is I will throw Graybeard series scents into this mix uh, of and, and rank these six when we get to that portion of the video. But I can tell you they were just really good. The regular oils ingredients were jojoba. Uh, meadow foam, argan, coconut, almond, sunflower, apricot, castor oils, ionic inland sea minerals, vitamin E, and fragrance. That was the ingredients on the regular oils. On the gray beard oils, it was jojoba, castor, argan, camella, seed, coconut, olive, oils, ionic inland sea minerals, and fragrance. And on our butters, the ingredients shea butter, jojoba oil, meadow foam oil, coconut oil, argan oil, vitamin E, ionic inland sea minerals, and fragrance. Hands down, those are some amazing, amazing carriers that are in these products. So, scent durations. All of these pretty much had the same. I could go six to eight hours. Some of them were a little stronger than others. I could go six to eight hours with an oil-butter combination. If I went with just oil, I'm looking at anywhere from five to six hours just just a touch less sometimes seven because some of them like i said are a little bit stronger but i can tell you with both it's no less than i said six to eight I'll, I'll jump that up it, it was 
it was at least eight hours, maybe longer. So, yes, amazing products. They did great for my beard. Loved how healthy my beard has felt over the last month. Just amazing. These are some of my favorite butters. Love the consistency of these butters. And they smell. Oh, it smells so good. So, I think it's about time to rank these. All right. Um, let's see which ones we have. Um, Mountain Air, Last Cast, Polly's, Angler's Code, Nightfall, and Skipper. Let me get this butter out of the way. Get my hands cleaned out. So we can go in here and tell you which ones are my favorite. All right, so I'll go ahead and tell you one of my least favorite scents of the six was, what's this one? Skipper. The lemon lime, uh, it was good. It's a good scent. It just, the other ones were better for me. So Skipper in the Graybeard series, that's going to rank in at number six just because of that scent. The oil, hands down, was phenomenal. But just because of the scent, it's going to rank in at number six. So, let us see. So, the next one going to be number five is going to be the last cast. All right. So, the last cast is coconut, acai, creamy vanilla, and sugar. To me, it's a really sweet scent. You get that sugar. Um, sometimes that's good. Sometimes it's not. But I like these other ones better than this one. So it's going to come in at number five, the last cast. Number four is going to be, let's dig around here. Number four is going to be Angler's Code. All right, so this one is Burnt Blood Orange, Lime, Agave, Golden Oud, and Myrrh. Now, it smells phenomenal. Uh, you get that spice. You get just that complex mixture of scent profiles and oh, it smells really really good but i like these three that i have left better and what we have left is mountain air nightfall which is cologne and polys so number three is going to be nightfall our cologne scent now it smells good it smells really good oh but these other ones smell better so let's just jump on to number two and number one so we have mountain river and we have polys so should i say number two or should i just jump to number one so my number one scent from copper johns that we use during the course of the month of may out of six cents my number one scent is mountain river that's my number one scent. Polly's, it's going to come in at number two, but it's a very close number two because it is a really good scent. But Mountain River is going to be number one. And why, you ask? Well, I like cedar. And I get that cedar in this. Man, it is just, to me, a cedar in a scent is a classic scent. It smells amazing. Love this. It's a really great oil. Highly recommend you checking it out. Mountain River um, from Copper Johns. But then again, every one of these sounds and smells really great. So get over to the website. Link will be in the description below. You can check it out. Look at the scent profiles and pick one that you think will sound good. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. If I can answer it, I will. Um, and yeah, thank you for staying tuned for the month of May. June's going to be a busy month too, I'm sure. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And yeah, until next time, stay bearded, get outdoors, and God bless.